You might know that the imaginary unit i is defined to be the square root of negative 1. But what about the square root of i itself? Assuming that it exists and that it's also an imaginary number, also known as a complex number, it has to have the form a plus bi. All imaginary numbers can be written in this form, where a and b are real numbers and i is that unit, the square root of negative 1. If we figure out what a and b are, we've solved our issue. Let's square both sides, and we'll have to do a little bit of distribution. We're going to get a times a is a squared. We'll get bi times bi is b squared i squared, but i squared is negative 1. And then we'd get a times bi happening twice. So i is a squared minus b squared plus 2abi. And for emphasis, I'm going to write the left-hand side as 0 plus 1i. Why do this? Well, this is sometimes called matching coefficients. Here I'm matching up the real part of the equation and the imaginary part of the equation via their coefficients. Since a squared minus b squared on the right is a real number, it's the real part of the equation, it has to equal the real part of the left-hand side. So a squared minus b squared has to be 0. Same with the imaginary part of the equation. If 2ab is the coefficient of i on the right, and 1 is the coefficient of i on the left, these have to be equal. And so we have two equations and two unknowns. Pick your favorite way of solving this. I would probably solve for a and make a substitution. Just say a is 1 over 2b. Then we can plug in for a. So 1 over 4b squared minus b squared is 0, which means 1 minus 4b to the 4th equals 0 or that b to the 4th equals 1 fourth, or that b is plus or minus 1 over root 2. And since we have b, we very quickly get a just by resubstituting. When b is positive 1 over root 2, a also turns into 1 over root 2. And when b is minus 1 over root 2, a also turns into minus 1 over root 2. And remember, we originally said the square root of i was a plus bi. And so square root i actually has two solutions. It's either 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2i, or minus 1 over root 2 minus 1 over root 2i. But this number isn't even close to being as interesting as these. And this video is real, so don't let it be imaginary. I'll see you in that one.